Hello everybody and welcome back to Miniature Hub. Today I'm doing another Hall of Heroes video, which I haven't done in a while. Um, I'm going to be doing it on the Chaos Sorcerer Lord, which you can see right in front of me there. Um, excuse the painting, it was one of the first models that I painted. I promise you I have gotten better, but uh, yeah, it's just a bit basic on that guy right there. But I wanted to do a Hall of Heroes because... Um, just want to spice up the channel a bit more instead of just doing a song of ice and fire i also want to keep doing some age of sigma every now and then which you may have seen with my uh shorts actually i've decided to do some shorts because why not um so let's get stuck into it let's start with the wheel and um, i'll probably put an image up of the wheel in the top right hand corner or something trying to do a bit more editing um let's start with the movement the movement for this guy is five inches, which I've just got a tape measure here um, just to show you. That is how far the um, Chaos Sorcerer Lord would move regularly, unless you're obviously running. Um, the wounds for this guy are five as well, which is OK, I think, for like a wizard. Um, obviously, more wounds better, but um, it's it's a decent tankiness and he also has a save of plus four which is not too bad either i mean obviously it's, it's just about halfway in which is decent for a wizard as well um and then the bravery is eight so because it's a hero it's a hero um so generally they have a higher bravery so let's go on to the melee weapons um this guy only has melee weapons there's no ranged attacks um the first one is the sorcerer staff which has a range of two inches um so you know you can poke at enemies um it's got attacks of one so you roll one die uh, so to hit is plus four to wound is three plus um which is pretty standard um then it's got a rend actually of minus one which is quite nice and d3 damage so the sorcerer staff actually can be pretty potent, um, you know, potentially three damage with a minus one rend. It's pretty good. Um, and then he's also got the Chaos Rune Blade, which might be able to see. He's got like a sword on the back of him right there, um, which is a range of one. So obviously you have to be a bit more close and personal with that. Two attacks, so two die rolling, um, three plus to hit, three plus to wound. So it's pretty decent. And then no rend, unfortunately, no rend for the Chaos Rune Blade. And then one damage if you were able to inflict any wounds. And then he's got obviously the wizard trait, so he can unbind a spell and he can cast a spell. Um, one of each. Um, the spells he's got are, I'm assuming he's got the uh, Arcane Bowl and Mystic Shield. And then he's got Demonic Power. So Demonic Power is a spell that has a casting value of 6 and a range of 18, so quite a big one. Um, if successfully cast, pick one friendly mortal Slaves to Darkness unit, wholly within range and visible to the caster. Um, add one to hit and wound rolls for attacks made with melee weapons by that unit until the start of your next hero phase. So it's just a... Uh, kind of small um buff but it's got quite a long range which means um if enemies are far if uh so not enemies friendly units are far away engaged with enemies um you can easily cast that spell and give them a slight edge in the battle which is quite nice and then he's also got an ability called ocular visions which is um in your hero phase you can pick one friendly mortal slaves to darkness unit Wholly within 12 inches of this model. If you do so, that unit has a ward of 6 plus until the start of your next hero phase. Which is uh, pretty nice. It's a nice um, buff to give um, units close to you. So it's slightly less than the demonic power spell. Um, and that is it for the Chaos Sorcerer Lord. Just checking, it's got 120 points, that's the cost. Um, and it is in the Slaves to Darkness army. Um, that's the army he's part of, if I didn't say that before. So um, thank you all for watching. I hope it was useful. I just, 
I like just highlighting some cool characters that I have. Plan to do more Age of Sigmar and more Song of Ice and Fire. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!